Here we are again, looking at listening to Legato, this time Synchron Strings Elite. The exploration began with a conversation at VI Control, the forum, where some people were mentioning that they just aren't a fan of this Legato approach. Opinions differ. My intent here is simply to try out the legato using an example that was provided. I didn't write this melody. I am kind of playing it by ear. Rubato, I didn't really use a click track or anything. And, you know, seeing if there's an articulation and an approach that doesn't involve a lot of MIDI massaging that gets this relatively romantic, expressive line to feel like one continuous phrase one beautiful arc, the way a musician would play it. We went through this same exercise a little with Modern Scoring Strings from Audio Bro when it was released a month or two ago. And the request from the user base was, can we get a legato that is a little less responsive, maybe during playing in with a piano, with a MIDI keyboard, but feels uh, with that a, 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 a little additional lag or delay, get some of those connected note transitions sounding just a little more elongated without becoming a portamento, simply emphasizing the expressive legato transition. So I was advised by someone who I think is representing VSL to attempt to bring the blur control all the way up to the maximum. And that's going to help with some of the overlap. The difference, if any, feels very subtle to me. Let me know if you see a difference. First we'll do violin one, two, and viola together individually with blur at 30, then the same instruments with blur at full. Let me know in the comments if you hear a difference, if you prefer one over the other, if you're a fan of this legato approach, or if you think it's too, I think the word might be abrupt, um, just kind of too quick and doesn't capture the, the sense of the transition that a musician might give it during playing this type of line, romantic kind of expressive line, or if there's any problems with my methodology, my approach to the experiment, the articulations I've chosen. I am influenced by Anne Catherine Dern, who recently did a series of videos showing that you can click in or draw in with the mouse mod wheel controls and get good results in MIDI mockups. So I am influenced by that. I did record the MIDI first. I did have all the velocities different first. I did play it in, but then I edited it all because I was finding that I just wanted to hear exactly what it was doing, not my manipulation of what it was doing, because I could find that I could emphasize or de-emphasize the transitions with little bumps in the mod wheel. And while some people will argue that is the technique to use, different libraries handle not doing that differently. And the question is, how does a library handle not constantly bumping or pulling back on the mod wheel and the expression wheel for every single legato transition? I think part of the question is, how do you juggle that? What if a library, and, and in this case, it doesn't really matter how much you jiggle the mod wheel, the speed of the transition is not going to be something you can change with effectively a volume or even a dynamic layer change. You need to have it potentially to do what people are asking for, have it be longer of a transition, and you can't change, you can't get that to be faster in this instrument with the mod wheel, even with blur up. I think is the, even with blur at max, I think that's, that's, that's where the experiment is. So try not to focus if you can on the fact that the mod wheel isn't moving as much as some might think it should, because it doesn't change the speed of the transition. Before leaving this experiment though, I'm going to also try a similar test with Spitfire chamber strings, because people are also asking, you know, how does this compare with the much older Spitfire chamber strings, it used to be Mural, I think. So I tried to use the Legato Performance Patch, not the Performance Legato Patch, 
Don't get those confused. It's got a speed control. The Spitfire Chamber Strings Violins 1 and 2 I brought down a little slower from their default of fastest for the first pass, and then the second pass I brought them all the way down to their very slowest. So they're always a little bit different from default, which is different from VSL, which I started at the default and then slowed it, tried to change the blur into overlap. I was able to bring them slower without sounding kind of torn apart and time stretched too slowly. The Spitfire Chamber strings violas, however, did not work well. They did not sound right under those settings. So I started them at default of fastest and only brought them down to maybe a third from the bottom to slow them down, but not all the way. They were just tearing apart and sounding all time stretched and to the point where you, you were you weren't hearing a performance. So I, so it's a little, um, there's definitely some play involved in trying to get a test to be accurate here. <laughs> 